Kiss Everlasting French Tip Nails. Um, they are in real short. I received them in my Influencer box. I am super uh, delighted to be a part of Influencer, and if you are interested in being a part of Influencer, uh, let me know because I can send you an official email invite and I will get credit for that. Thank you. Um, anyway, it's been a long time since I've tried um, fake nails like this, so we'll see how it goes. I have already taken off my polish and I cut my nails real short and um, yeah. So, actually I feel like my nails are in bad condition. Anyway. Let's uh, let's do this. So there are 28 nails in here, and there's the self tabs. This is the kind of glue. So hopefully, hopefully all goes well. Um, so first, I guess I should take the time to pick out the proper size nails. Not gonna waste your time with that. So brb. Uh, it does come with the little mini file and also the orange stick so okay I have finished picking out the sizes that I wanted for my nails and so each nail has a tab at the top and I don't know if you can see but yeah kind of they all have numbers on them so when you find one that is the right size you can easily find the match by looking at the numbers so um, dum -dum -dum -dum. which nail should I start with we will start with the pinky, work my way that way. Kind of makes sense, right? I think that's what I usually do when I do put things on my nails. Um, so here's the glue. Here's my messy hair. Uh, Kiss Pink Gel Glue. So we will open this. Let's read the directions, shall we? Apply glue to nail. Apply a thin layer of glue to natural nail. Uh, starting at cuticle, press on and hold. Remove self tab, uh, bend down and up. So glue on fake nail, glue on regular nail, apply nail, and voila. So. Okay, so that's what that looks like when you open it. I'm thinking this needs to come off somehow. I have scissors nearby. Yep. So nothing saying don't do this, so okay, so I just cut the top off a little bit. Anywho, let's um apply a little bit. And just drop the nail. Hold on. Alright. To see that. I'm gonna put it down while I apply thin layer or attempt to do a thin layer. Alright. Now by holding the handy dandy tab I will Pull that down. How long am I supposed to do this for? Okay, it doesn't really say. A little bit on my finger. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure it's on there. Feels like it. Looks like it. So, I guess the true test will be this thing. Just do the one hand for the video, then I'll do the other hand off camera. So, 
So, we'll just do one more, and then I'll do the rest off camera. How about that? All right, so thin layer. Okay, I have finished putting all the nails on. So this is what they look like. I will say I think I picked the wrong size for my middle finger. And actually I wanted to show you because I kind of, with some of them, the tab, I probably wasn't doing it right. But see there's a little extra on the edge there. But if you file them, it comes off. So. All gone. Um, anyway, so not too bad. Uh, I, I'll be honest. I prefer the impress nails just because it's easier and cleaner than messing with nail glue. But uh, this is still good. Um, they're definitely on there, really strong. Um, so yeah. I mean, I don't know. Oh yeah, my other. My, my my one qualm, I guess, and this is probably just user error, putting too much glue on, is when I was pressing it down, I was somehow, I was getting glue on top of the nail, and so it was making, like, the, you could see, you know, like a finger imprint in dried glue on top, um, but I just took a little bit of nail polish remover and wiped it, and it came off just fine, so... Here they are. They look nice though. I like them. French tip is always a good classic way to go. Anytime I get a pedicure, I always go with French tip. Um, yeah, so I did French tip for my wedding many years ago. Anyway, um, so I do, I do like them. So we'll see how long they last. And um, yeah, I will put an annotation here here. Put an annotation here when these fall off or when the first one falls off or something like that so you'll know. So if there's no annotation yet, they're still going strong. Um, but I think that's it. So thank you Influencer for sending me these nails. Thank you Kiss Nails. Um, and thank you for watching and hopefully being a subscriber. Feel free to hit that thumbs up button if you um, really did enjoy this. I really appreciate your support, to be very, very, very honest. Um, please look down here for all my social media links, and I will see you again real soon. Goodbye!